concave, spiraling anxiety centers itself in the pit of your gut. And the longer you think about it, the tighter that feeling gets. You try to center it into your toes, pedaling as the air sings through your laces. But you can't help but ponder gravity and how easily gravel carves elbows. How did you feel when I said I wanted to go to Grand Junction? I uh, honestly, I'd just been puffing my chest to go, I told you so, everybody, I told you all, she would go back and she would probably go back to uh, reconcile with Tim at some level, but this needed to happen. This time would come. He may not be able to handle it and get up and walk out. But the, the second part was about him being a father, but he hasn't been, Olive. Just, just be strong and be who you are. Be calm, don't be afraid. Cause that's what I always was, was afraid. Don't be afraid of him. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go get this bear just in case, but go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here. Thank you. This is weird. <laughs> I've been, I don't know, I'm especially nervous for tomorrow because I don't, I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know how today is gonna go. I'm, I don't know how 30 minutes is gonna go. Like that's so soon. Um, I've been color coding <laughs> my questions for Tim, kind of just like on level of difficulty. If he gets mad and like walks out and leaves, then he gets mad, you know? And I, I honestly feel like that's kind of expected. Um, I mean, I think anyone would be nervous after it's weird, like, seeing not seeing someone for- Is it Four or five years? Um, almost eight. Jesus. Yeah. Whether it was their neglectful dad or not, I mean. You have a dog, right? Yeah, Coop. Yeah. Have you seen him? I, I saw pictures on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's cute. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah. He's my furry angel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So was it hard to do this? Yeah. Um, I'm... I'm pretty nervous. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the camera thing. But I know, I'm sorry. That's, no, I mean. Yeah. Whatever I can do to help. Yeah. Know? So, it's, I'm just glad to see you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm in therapy. <laughs> I don't want to be like having like kind of a nice time and then all of a sudden I'm like so why did you hurt my family like this kind of thing and like how can I don't know how can someone even like respond to that kind of question at the same time it kind of felt like I wanted to tell him about my life and and hugging him was I don't know that was weird it's kind of crazy how like the five senses can like really kick into memory I can't remember like the things that we did but I can remember like the smell of him or like how like warm his skin is and and then after the interview we went over to um my old house on Chapita. I don't know, after that, like the second half of the day it's just been really nice, you know. I mean there's some parts that I really want to hide from that really scare me about this place that I don't like to remember. And then there's other things that are just really just like wholesome and comforting about this place. Because like I grew up here, you know. Um, I think I mean we can like go in the backyard and start filming, and then we can go in the apartment. I know we can't film in there, but okay. Yeah. And then you guys can go in the apartment too. Yeah, they don't care just... about that. <laughs> Olive and I were really, really, really tight for years when she was a little girl, and especially after the divorce, and I kind of became the male figure in her life. Uh, yeah. I thought, yeah, we had like a whole tea set and yeah. mom would like make tea and we'd have like the sugar cream. But I had a lot of memories in the backyard. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of pictures of like 
Tim planting flowers. He really liked flowers, so there's like a whole bunch of gardening things I remember. And then um, I remember the bucket with the fairy houses a lot. Um, When you came along, I was, uh, I remember Linda, because she had come into the picture by now, and, and basically said, um, you know, give me a call when you need a good lawyer. And I was like, you're just the ex-wife, you just want me out of the picture. Um, not taking it as uh, seriously, and it wasn't, it wasn't a week, and I called her and said, I need some help. The night that he realized he was going to have to sell the restaurant, he just went off the rails. He put his hand through the window, fell onto the floor, and he was so drunk, I couldn't, I couldn't get him up. And his hand was bleeding everywhere. The police came and talked to me and wanted to know if everything was okay. And I, you know, kind of alluded to the fact that no, it's not great. I think they were worried about me because I was pregnant with you. And I just remember trying to clean it all up and thinking, this is awful. I gotta get out of this. I mean, I used to get really scared about being left alone. So I used to stand outside this window and wait for my mom while she was doing laundry because like she was right downstairs, but I was still like terrified of being left alone. He, he hit the wall in front of me and then he pinned me up against the wall with the mattress, but it was mostly verbal abuse with me. I think he hit Zach. I think he scared him out of his mind. He did hit Linda, gave her a black eye. He hit Papa. There was a huge fight over at Papa's. Remember making, you remember making uh, do, uh, dolls out of these? Oh yeah. I think there's always parts of your life, especially in turmoil, like the divorce and stuff like that, that you move through blindly and then have to go back and assess what was real at that point. I think this is a good thing for her to go back and, and say, yeah, it was all right. I mean, it's just part of my life. Good or bad, it's part of my life. And I think that's healthy. I don't know. You know, I think we're just gonna see how it goes and get it from there, because that's, that's all I can do. And I came here to do something, so I should do what I came here to do. How's your relationship like with Mason and Zach right now? Um, Mason and I are texting. Um, I see him. Zachy's, Zachy, I haven't heard from in a while. And I reach out, but I understand. How do you think your childhood has impacted fatherhood? I don't know. Um, it affected me. Do you think having a baby changed the relationship at all? No, I, th I think all the changes were just me. The relationship and the issues were independent of, of you, you know. Was it weird having a girl after having two boys? No. No? It was tied everything together. How did you feel when I asked you to do the documentary? Mm -hmm. I was shocked and surprised and happy. Yeah. Nervous, apprehensive, anxiety, but just a window, you know? Are you nervous right now? No. It's just everything's coming up. How did you feel when I wrote the letter to you explaining I didn't want to see you anymore on Sundays? 
I was hurt, but I, under, I understood. I'm, I'm not an idiot, I understand. Do you think back on those times a lot? Or is this just kind of bringing it all back up? I try not to, just it's kind of in my dreams a lot. And then like, when I wake up and recall the dreams, it's, it's like, it's, it just hurts all day. Sorry. <laughs> you do whatever you need to do. <laughs> and you can ask me anything. I Yeah. I know you deserve answers. Is there anything you've been you've wanted to tell me or clear up or just I just said I'm sorry. Yeah. You guys are everything I always wanted, and this isn't how I wanted it, and that's on me, you know? It's, it's my shit. And I'm sorry that it hurt you guys. Thank you. It's nice to hear. You're welcome. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Do you remember those days? Like sun-soaked pavement in July? Salvation between palms of two tinsel rainbow tassels. And then a familiar teaching echoes of skin knees and ruby grass. But tomorrow I will recall this day, how I peddled amongst birds and clouds and witnessed my pain dissipate like dandelions meeting my lips. I mean, going into it, I had so many thoughts like, oh my gosh, he's gonna walk out of the interview and he's gonna get mad. He just seemed really sad and kind of lonely. I mean, nothing's really seemed to change. Like, I don't feel any new, profound, like, wow. I'm not making any sense. That's awesome. I honestly don't know if I wish that things were different. I know that I wouldn't be the same person that I am like right now if things hadn't gone down like how they had. I'm coming to terms with the fact that those things happened and they made me who I am today and I'm still at the point where I'm trying to like who I am today. Oh, actually that's fine too. Do you see that? I mean, it might not, but also. I don't know, I didn't think that he still thought about the three of us that much anymore.